so many flagship phones released recently that can run graphically intensive games like Genshin Impact on the highest settings, is there really a reason for you to buy a dedicated gaming phone like the ROG Phone 7 Ultimate? Hi guys, my name is John Nieves and this is the ROG Phone 7. Now our friends at Asus has actually lent this to us for a few weeks and I can tell you after using it for after a few days that there is really a reason for you to buy a dedicated gaming phone like this. Uh, it gives you an experience that the other flagships really can't match. Now there are modern design sensibilities with the new flagships, not just the Xiaomi 13 Pro, uh, that makes it a pain in the butt to play, uh, to, to play with if you're doing extended mobile sessions. Uh, the Xiaomi 13 Pro, for example, has this gigantic camera module uh, at the back, which makes it a little uncomfortable in the hand when you're playing it, when you're playing games in a landscape mode, especially if you're uh, playing for a long time. One thing I really like about the RG Phone 7 is that Asus actually took the consideration of long-term gaming or gaming with extended periods of time into account when designing it. So in the phone, the battery is split between two sections. So it has a 6,000 mAh battery, so that you have 3,000 here and 3,000 here. And what makes that really good is that it makes the phone balanced at the middle, as you can see here. So when you're actually playing, the weight isn't concentrated on, on either side. It's perfectly balanced. So when you're playing like this, it's very easy. It's very ergonomic. And there's not a side of the phone where the weight is, is concentrated. So everything is nice and easy to play with when you are playing games like Genshin Impact or, or uh, Tower of Fantasy. And the design of the phone also makes it easy for you to charge and play at the same time. Uh, the RG Phone 7 continues the tradition of having two USB ports when you're charging. Uh, there's one on the bottom and one on the side. One thing that happens when you are playing with Genshin Impact is that you run out of battery very easily because Genshin Impact is a very graphically intense game. So one of the things that happens is that you need to charge. And when you charge, if you're using a typical uh, traditional flagship smartphone, is that you charge from the bottom. Now, guess what? Your hand is now in the way of that charging cable while you're playing. So Asus take, took a look at that. And even before when they started their RG phone series, they put in two USB plugs, one at the side and one at the bottom. So this allows you to use either port when you're charging. Of course, when you're playing in landscape mode, there's a lot of space here at the side where you can actually just plug it in and it's not hindering your grip. It's the cable is there and you're charging. One thing that you also do not get from your typical flagship phone are ultrasonic buttons on the side. Now, Asus put in these shoulder buttons. Uh, they're ultrasonic. You can't actually see them. They're only marked and textured by the ROG logo on the side, but they double as um, air triggers or shoulder buttons like in your Nintendo Switch and a similar console where you can actually use them when you're playing. Um, this has the advantage of actually being able to be used in games that usually do not allow physical controllers or, or plugins like the Razer uh, Kishi. If you plug in the controller, it's not not going to be recognized by the game because it gives you an unfair advantage. But this one, since the, the buttons are being emulated by the, the phone itself, it actually works and it gives you that extra edge when you're playing games that require or has a lot of controls when you're playing. And if you're really a serious mobile gamer, you will definitely uh, like the mobile gaming aesthetic of the ROG Phone 7. There's a display at the back that tells the world what you're doing, if you're charging, if you're playing, if you're in X mode, if you have a, a notification. Actually, is pretty useful if your phone is lying down and you get a notification, you can actually see that right on the back. Um, the phone also has very <laughs> gamer aesthetic lines and stuff like that. There is a vent that we'll be talking about uh, later. Another thing that the ROG team really worked on on the ROG Phone 7 Ultimate is the display. So this is a beautiful display. It's made by Samsung and tuned by ROG for users. It's a 6.78 inch uh, AMOLED panel, 2448 by 1080 resolution. It has an ultra fast 165 hertz refresh rate for the display and a 720 hertz 
touch sampling rate. This display is one of the best panels we've ever seen. It's also one of the most responsive. Now, if you die in a game like Call of Duty Mobile, that's definitely not the display's fault. That's a skill issue. Since the RG Phone 7 Ultimate is a flagship phone in 2023, it gets a flagship processor. Yes, it is also a recipient of Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor. It has 16 gig of RAM, 512 gig of storage. One of the things that Asus actually pioneered with the ROG Phone series is the use of accessories in its phone system. Now, one of the very useful accessories is the Aero Active Cooler, which is now on its seventh generation. Now, the Aero Active Cooler 7 actually works with this particular accessory flap at the back. If you plug in um, the cooler at the bottom, uh, the flap actually opens up, which allows I mean, even more air to be drawn out from the phone when you're playing. Now, aside from that, uh, the Aero Active Cooler is actually pretty cool because it works off of the RG Phone 7 Ultimate's battery. So it's a completely self-contained system. And they actually made it a lot more useful now. So the, the Air Active Cooler 7 actually has buttons on the side, extra physical buttons on the side that you, you can use while you're playing. And get this, it also has a subwoofer. Now, it's very difficult to show you or allow you to listen to, to what the the subwoofer what the subwoofer sounds like but i'm telling you it is the with the subwoofer on this phone is actually one of the best sounding phones that we've ever heard uh, so far this 2023 you can really hear the bass when you, when you're when you're using with with the air active cooler and like all of the accessories of uh, asus it also has rgb lighting that you can customize depending on what you want uh, which is pretty cool. There's also a plug for a 3.5 millimeter uh, audio jack for the cans, which like you can just plug it there or plug it here. It doesn't really matter. So it's really cool. It's a really cool accessory. It's an accessory that is included in the box if you buy the RG Phone 7 Ultimate. And it's one of those accessories that it looks and sounds gimmicky, but it's not. It's really definitely very useful if you're a mobile gamer. One of the things that you're not getting the best of in the RG Phone 7 Ultimate is the camera system. Now, don't get me wrong. It is actually a pretty decent camera setup. It's a 15 megapixel main camera, 13 megapixel wide, and a 8 megapixel uh, macro camera. The, ca the photos are good. It doesn't have a telephoto lens, which is almost like necessary for a flagship nowadays. Uh, the images are okay, but you know, you know the drill. The images aren't degrade in quality as light decreases, right? And the 30 megapixel camera, wide angle camera, again, it's fine. Uh, you can use it. It's not really the best, but it's, it doesn't suck at least. And the eight megapixel macro, anyway. But again, this phone isn't really a camera powerhouse or made for photography. It's a gaming phone. So the cameras are okay. They're not, the best but they're still great for what they are but the main focus again for this particular phone is gaming and that is what you're getting so like i said earlier this phone has two 3000 mah batteries that are split between the two sides fast charging is just around 65 watts that's fast but it's not as fast as the other phones that we've seen we've seen 100 watt charging 140 watt charging for other devices but that's not actually too too slow. Uh, I'm I'm assuming it has something to do with battery safety because you are charging two batteries, and the battery on this phone, or or at least the battery capacity on this phone is so large. So there is that. There is no wireless charging, which I kind of understand because uh, again, if you're a gamer, you really don't care much for that. You just want uh, big batteries and a reliable battery and batteries that do not bloat or explode if you're using it for a long time, uh, which the RG Phone 7 Ultimate has. One of the things that you get with the RG Phone 7 is customization. Now, Asus and the Armor Crate uh, UI here on the phone allows you to customize 
a lot of things inside the phone. It allows you to customize uh, performance, how how much throttling the phone will get if it gets too hot, how, how much performance uh, or battery is put into the processor for certain uh, for certain scenarios when you're plugged in, when the Aero Active Cooler is plugged in. There's a lot of customization there. Um, the lights can be customized. The, the lights, when you plug in your accessories, can be customized. A lot of customization. So if you're the sort of person that really likes to customize and to, to go into the software and to tinker with almost every single portion of your phone that you bought for a lot of money, uh, this is going to be pretty expensive. Um, then this is the phone for you. Going back to my original question at the start of the video, is it still worth buying a dedicated flagship gaming phone like the ROG Phone 7 Ultimate when they are flagships like the Xiaomi 13 Pro that can do some of the things that this can? My answer is yes, because this can do most other things, including photography pretty well, but gaming, fine but this can do gaming extremely well but other things okay so if you really like uh, photography uh, photography and a unique looking phone you buy the art this this one Xiaomi 13 Pro but if you're the sort of person who just really likes mobile gaming you want cranking all of the 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 graphics up high without having to worry about lag without having to worry about about uh, like your your graphics slowing down or pixels uh, pixelated things uh, on your screen this this is the phone you buy that's pretty much it guys my name is john nieves uh, we do not know the price of this phone yet before you ask us uh, it is going to be launching in june uh, and if once it launches we're going to be telling you all about the price where you can buy and what the freebies are uh, in the website so please like, subscribe, comment if you have any other questions. We'll be monitoring, monitoring that uh, comment section down below. Uh, this is not mine. <laughs> so, unahan ko na kayo. But, in any case, my name is John. Peace out.